Are we now through with financial warrant articles? Um, Pretty much. Well, right. except for the ones to be held for next week. There are, right, no. there are four. Actually, there's more than four because you get to collect the bargaining items on there. Could I just make a very quick statement about the financial warrant articles? Sure. I'm going to go read and, and, and expound just a little bit on <clears throat> what Selectman Bean said a few minutes ago and what Mr. Selvedick said when he was here. He was talking about sound financial uh, planning. And I think it's more that for 10 years there was an ignoring of basic structural infrastructure. And we're now paying the bill. So, yes, it's very easy to keep a flat tax rate if you don't address the problems. Lafayette Street, we've known about since 1980s. Church Street is not something that can be ignored. The pipes under the, under the marsh, these are things that have been put off, put off, put off. Finally, you have to make a decision, and the decision has to be, are we going to address them, or are we going to put them off a little longer and have more problems? So I think people need to look at that. I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. People aren't trying to raise anybody's taxes. People are trying to deal with the basic infrastructure problems that we have in town. That were ignored. That were ignored. It was not sound financial planning. It was ignoring problems. If I, I could have a very cheap budget in my house. I'd, I'd like to talk because I was on probably almost all of those boards. And I don't think we really ever ignored anything that was important that came up. Um, something like the... Um, what happened with the marsh across the marsh which I still don't think we need to do because it's already been fixed uh, never was that ever even ever mentioned in any way um, <clears throat> the on route one that is probably the one thing that I can agree that people absolutely knew about but whenever anybody on all those other boards came forth with something that had to happen it always happened one thing that w happened also during that time was seven years of recession and people couldn't afford to have their taxes go up over and over again. The biggest thing that suffered at that time were probably the, um, <clears throat> it went, the collective bargaining uh, issues went, uh, op you know, they were not approved time after time. Um, but I don't remember anything being uh, um, ignored that was brought up. There were never anything ignored when I was on this board that had to happen, ever. I will uh, change my, my wording from ignored to neglected a little bit. And I will, I will say that in this town, if we take a look at the school bond that they're talking about since 1970, that was the last renovation up there. They're, they're teaching in a 19th century uh, building for 21st century um, education. The town, our, our Parks and Recreation Department could have been helped along the way. So, so there are, there, there have been neglect go on. Ignore was a too strong of a word, I apologize. Because you have to remember that uh, the fire dis uh, departments were built and quite a bit, of those things were given top priority. So there was really, I wouldn't call it, I sat here and fought many of the battles. And that is, for the f five of, the, of those years I've looked back upon it, and the t over five years the taxes only went up 2% over the total five years. So that was something that needed to happen at the time of the recession. Mr. Chairman, may I? Sure. I think uh, uh, our finance director, who was uh, a stellar, stellar performer and uh, uh, was promoted from within the ranks and uh, brought up under Mr. Welch's tutelage and the former finance director, uh, and her compliance with GASPI was one of the most significant uh, financial tools and speaks to uh, both Rick's issue and uh, Selectman Waddell's is that there was no scientific <coughs> or administrative or professional approach from management. And that came from the selectmen. And we were told while I had tenure on this board uh, by other board members that it was too expensive to produce that compliance. It was a red flag at our audit. And of course, what it does is it identifies depreciation. And we had tr a tremendous and copious amount of physical assets. Rick has talked about it. And while there's no one underground looking at pipes, while there's no one at the pump house, which we almost suffered a catastrophic failure at, 
Uh, we've gone through department heads. I have full confidence in our department heads now and Mr. Welch. But it identifies a 10% whack, if you will, a 10% expense on our budget every single year. That these assets, whether it's a fire truck that's $700,000 or a pipe that's underground that nobody knows the, the status of, that is the financial professional management that identifies what Jim talks about. And that was the neglect of the selectmen. And not, not Rick and not fail and not the other boards, but to get that done and Christy get that done. And there's a reason that the federal accounting standing boards wants that. There's a reason that the audit always red flagged that. And Christy developed that and she did it for nothing. She did it for zero dollars. But people on this board said it would cost too much money to do. And so when Mr. Soberdeck comes in here, and I appreciate his attention to the budget, is a, is a citizen of this town, I appreciate his interest. And don't always agree with Mr. Soberdeck, but I appreciate his interest in his town. Uh, when he raises these issues, and he's a man of finance, and I don't hear him speak like this about this subject, that it was never there. It's a 10% expense on this budget every single year. And when you, whether, you, whether you know what's going on in pipes or not, you know that when Federal Accounting Standing Board red flags you and audits and, and, and red flags your audit, uh, there was a reason for it. And we as leaders have to identify that. And if you go 10 years and have not upgraded your infrastructure other than a new fire station, other than a police station, which you may or may not need, but for the core, core, core capital improvements we need, like roads, like Exeter Road, like this pipe, uh, you're not setting aside the money. We just talked about a conservation fund for 20000 Well, we haven't done that for our town. And now we're getting there, and they're never easy discussions. We don't always agree, but there's a bunch of uh, uh, disassociated but very similarly interested people, and we'll get there. And I thank everybody for their cooperation. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> I would just like to bring one other thing up, too, and I can't remember the amounts, but I'm sure Fred will remember. Um, when, and this, I'm just saying this to make people that are out there uh, rest a little easier that when something of an emergency does happen, like uh, when the paddle went at the uh, uh, wastewater treatment center, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that, how much did that end up costing? Well, we ended up spending about $100,000 on that. But there was a lot of other stuff that happened. Well, there was, and, and the 100000 was the emergency actions to make things happen mm -hmm. so that we didn't have to just go crazy about doing things. We wanted to know exactly what needed to be done, and we needed some time to ar arrive at that conclusion. So we spent some of our existing cash in the budget to solve that problem, and then we came in with a bond issue for almost a million dollars to solve the problems in the station and correct the problems that were wrong. Mm -hmm. And that all passed. That all passed. And it was part of the infrastructure. I just want to point out that when an emergency does happen, we are able to act. And that was a good example. In fact, it's the best example that I've seen since I've been here. We will act. It's, it's similar to the seawall falling on the North Shore. Mm -hmm. We will act because we have to act. There's just no way around that. And, and I, would, I would just like to add that if you stick, keep, keep up your maintenance maintenance and keep checking, you, you don't have to act on emergencies. But they th that better th off they have done. a very good record there. Uh, even at that point, there was record the record keeping was never a problem, yeah. and they were maintaining it. They did have a pr part of the problem was it was where they had to get the parts. They had to go to Canada to get them or something. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they had to be made. They had to be made, yeah. I remember it was something like that. So we